I don't believe you stole my sausage roll. It's no yours. It's no yours. It's my sausage roll. If that's mine, no, it's mine. And you stole it. What you got to say for yourself? What do you mean I shouldn't have left it in a silly place? It's still my sausage roll. Not quite a full day at it. But there's a huge change. There is. Um, yeah, it's been a, it's been quite a productive day, and I shall show you around it very shortly. Um, I think Carol's feeling a lot more positive about this. We should soon find out when I speak to her when I get back in. Um, it's currently around about five o'clock in the afternoon, UK time, Sunday, the 17th, 18th of April, something like that. Um, yeah, we've got a lot of rubbish, a lot of rubbish. And here we go. Here we go, can you see all that? That's the kitchen and bathroom. And the ceilings come down from here. But we can see where the water's coming in. So, water has been coming in through here somehow or other. So, we've got to sort all that out. And again, I can't get to it because that's in the way. But up there. ingress of water, whether it's been coming in through the, the flue, I don't think so. I think it's been coming in through the uh, seam there. Again, we need to sort it out. Yeah, the ceiling's down. All that rubbish there. I'm afraid I think we're going to be at a, bit, a little bit of an impasse at this moment in time, because I really can't get a great deal of work done whilst I've got all this rubbish around me. Um, so it could be, could be three weeks before you see uh, an update, unless I can actually talk to people nearby. Um, I'm hoping so at least anyway, but there's no point pointing it out. Um, I feel great, done a, done a fair bit. Very different from what it looked like. Um, there's a lot of damage to the floor in certain areas. Cut those out, put new board, boarding down. Um, keep the garage, just change the layout a bit slightly. And I think we'll be pretty good to go. I'm rather hopeful. Got to do the work on sealing the roof and the water ingress. Um, the, both the bathroom and the kitchen have been fitted sh shoddily. Um, there was water leakage around the bathroom and all the boarding. There we go. That's the boarding from the bathroom. Another piece there behind. Sopping wet, sopping wet through. And that is there. Uh, it's a kitchen. And that's where the sink was taps around here so the, the taps hadn't been fitted properly they were very loose and water had just damaged all this so this is going to be an important uh, feature not feature it's going to be an important part of the build ensuring that it's sealed every bit of, of potential areas where water could damage anything is going to be sealed double sealed triple sealed checked once twice three times um, yeah, the window, can you see it, all that there, looks all soft behind all that. It's a fair bit of work to do, there really is, and I'm a little bit frustrated now that I can't get rid of all this rubbish, um, I really like be able to go to the council tips and just be able to just get rid 
and the rubbish but uh, the council also have closed the rubbish tips and that's what lockdown everybody's DIYing and there's been a huge increase on fly tipping I'm not going to be one of those uh, statistics I don't want a, tw uh, a 20,000 pound fine um, but come on councils do something please open them up even if it's just for one day or two days a week let us get in we're all going to be sitting in our cars we don't queue up like you do at the supermarkets but this rubbish needs to got rid of, be got rid of anyway enough of that spouting on i am quite happy yeah i'm more than happy today with today's effort uh, achieve what i didn't achieve yesterday uh, hence why there isn't a video coming out so we had a day a day off in essence it rained in the morning and I was mm -hmm. I wasn't in the mood for it simple as that lazy lazy anyway <laughs> I am now going to lock up and We'll speak to Carol in a bit, see what she thinks. Ta da for now. Done. Hello, and welcome to the new update of the van. What do you reckon? What do we reckon? Carol, well, I know, I, uh, I called it out of, uh, out of reference more than anything else. Um, um, we'll get ourselves down to the Boogaloo. So, what do you reckon? As a name? For the truck. The big boogaloo. The, boog the big the boogaloo. The boogaloo. Yeah. Cool. Right. So we've done quite a bit of work again today. A bit more, quite a bit more stripping down, um, and uh, and taking stuff out. So we we're going to be putting it all back in again in a minute. But like I say, about ten or that lot over there out before we could make a start. We're going to be putting it back in, in again in a minute. Yeah. Somebody in the town, like that. Somebody in the town, you hold it. Somebody in the town made these for charity. And what's the charity? The charity is um, from an orphanage in Malawi that she'd originally been uh, living and working over there. And, uh, and she wanted to raise funds to, to send over there because they are apparently about to go on lockdown. So, uh, and we have been struggling to find any masks for, you know, lovely money. And uh, and it just happened to pop up on Facebook this morning. I thought, right, I'm going to go and I'm going to grab a couple of these for a bit of a donation. And, uh, and they've, they've worked well out, haven't they? Yeah. They're but very they... funky and they look really cool. And <laughs> well, that's the thing, they're different. Yeah, and, yeah. And uh, the best thing about it is it keeps uh, a lot of the dust away from uh, our lungs. And uh, I've been struggling a bit with all this dust and stuff especially after my little bout of COVID-19. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I suffer with bad sinuses anyway as well, so. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, so. Um, this is it. So this is it. Now we have taken out the uh, partition that was there for the garage, so you can see right to the back now. So we've got to now decide how much room we're going to have over in that area. We are, you know, obviously planning on using that bit still having a garage for the storage and um, and, and the, the possibility of one motorbike because like the garage before had been big enough to hold two super bikes whereas if we have um, have, have a bike it's, it's probably only be the one um, we would actually quite like and try and scramble it at some point so um, yeah there we go keep it zooming in for you there Yeah, so we did that, you know, possibly do remove one, one motorbike, um, a bit more storage, uh, possibly a washing machine. I'd be very happy with a washing machine, yeah. But we're going to see how this will go as we go along. Um, yeah. <laughs> right, and so behind us, 
We've um, we've got uh, another bigger hole over there behind us. There's yeah. a bigger hole. There's a bigger hole. Yeah. All, all the all this here. I found out. I found out why it was uh, all wet and um, leaking through. There was a crack in the pipe glass just about here. Now, if you come down here, Carol, point it through to the engine bay. Show them. And that's the outside, and that's the engine. Yeah, and that's the floor. Now. Now, water has a great way, has a great way. I need to train her up with the camera <laughs> techniques here. Still pointing down here now, I was talking. Yeah, as we all know, water has a, has a way of finding its, uh, its way in. Um, Carol's just gone looking for boobers because she's just gone oh, well, holding up. So, quite exciting really, um, exciting and frustrating to be honest with you because we are at the stage where we need to get rid of this junk, all this rubbish. Um, I've got a plan for this and I shall tell you more about it when uh, on the next one, but overall it's, um, it's quite positive. There is a lot of work to do, there's a lot of structural work to do, um, it's like the walls all that down there, all this down here, all the way up here and across to there, that's all going to have to come out. I'm not too sure how damaged this is going to be down back here. It sounds solid and how do you know it sounds solid? Listen to that because I know that sound. This is solid, I know this is solid. Hollow, dead. There you go, that's how we know. Um, yeah. So if you're local and you want some wood, come and get it. Let me know. What are you thinking, Carol? Yeah, it's um, it's coming on quite nicely, so we've, we've, we've done quite a bit today. Um, you know, managed to kind of decide a little bit how we want things. Um, and uh, and yeah, it's been uh, it's been quite a good day. Quite a good day getting on with it. Are you feeling a little yeah. bit more positive about it? Yeah. Still yeah. a long way to go. Yeah. Oh yes, we've still got a long way to go. We've still but got can you stuff see yourself fix. in here? Can you actually see how it's all going to lay out in your mind? Have you got ideas going swirling through? Yeah. Yeah. We had a good idea um, a couple of days ago that we were going to put because obviously you know our bed is up here. Um, and we are thinking that um, we need to be able to get up access climbing up not just for me with me my back and that but with um, Hetty as well she's only got little legs um, putting a um, it's going to be like a combination of a shelving and stair steps so that uh, that's quite so where's that going to be then Carol that is going to be I think that's going to be this side isn't it yeah it may very Probably well that be side. yeah so yeah. from here we're going to step up to the bed, bedroom. Oh. She, she is so naughty, that little bugger. <laughs> Come on. She's a dentist now. Little bugger. Yeah, 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 like this. This, this little madam, <laughs> this little madam stole my sausage roll. But it's did, not well, your sausage roll, well, it's you my did leave sausage it. roll. You did leave it in a silly place. Yeah. But still. Just my sausage roll. <laughs> <laughs> I turned round and there she was outside, waffling it down. Couldn't get it down quick enough before Daddy started shouting at me. <laughs> anyway, it's quite funny. Um, yeah, I've been up on the on the roof, and it's they've had this kind of like tar bitumen type thing. Um, it's quite old. It's starting to crack. Um, especially across the joints bits here so I'm gonna have to go up and reseal that I think don't know what I'm doing 
Do you? No, no. but then again, when people do something new, they, they never know what they're doing before they start any. And then they go and make big holes. Big holes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cock up. <laughs> no, I don't think it's a cock up because it, it needed to come out. I just didn't really want to make. Oh, well, oh, let's put it this way. Not that I really wanted to make that big hole. It's not that I was, I was expecting to have to make a big hole. There we go. I've got to try. Had enough. As Carol said, all that 